The next question is thermal decomposition of silver nitrate produces two paramagnetic gases. The total number of electrons present in the antibonding molecular orbitals of the gas that has the higher number of unpaired electrons. So first of all, uh, nitrates usually on heating produce metal oxide uh, plus NO2 plus O2 except the nitrates of sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium which produce nitrite and O2. Uh, but the oxides of silver and mercury are not stable so they further decompose to form metal and oxygen. So basically if I heat silver nitrate I will be getting silver residue of silver plus brown fumes of NO2 and oxygen. Uh, of course both NO2 and O2 are paramagnetic. Uh, the paramagnetism of O2 can be explained by uh, MOT. Uh, NO2 of course has, has one unpaired electron. So NO2 has one electron unpaired. Uh, O2 has two electrons unpaired uh, in the last orbital uh, of pi star. That is why it is paramagnetic. So basically you have to find out the total number of electrons in the antibonding orbital of O2 because this has more number of unpaired electrons. So if you write the electronic configuration of O2 using MOT, then it is uh, sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, sigma 2pz2, pi 2px2, pi 2py2, pi star to p x 1 and pi star to p y 1. The total number of electrons in the antibonding orbitals, this is antibonding orbital, this is antibonding orbital, these two are also antibonding orbitals. So the electrons present are 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 6 electrons in total are present in the uh, antibonding orbitals of O2. So the correct answer would be 6.